Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here, and today we are playing Tomb Raider 3 again. So, I know some of you may be rejoicing, having waited weeks for an update to this. Uh, right, I believe we were, yep, we were at Area 51, so let's dive right in. Uh, get your likes and subscribes in now, because you might not want to later. Good, good, good. Got to stop him before he turns the laser on in that room and you can't get the gun in there. And there is a med pack up here, I believe. Because there's always just random items strewn about these levels. And it's going to work. Yes, it is. Excellent. All right. It's already going really well. Oh, yes. Excellent. So this is where you can actually equip MP5. Have it on the back like so. And then you can also equip the... Deagle, like so. And there you go, you can have like the normal pistol in the left pocket, the Deagle in the right pocket, and then the MP5 on the back, which I believe is an MP5 SD, I believe, integrated suppressor. Anyway, I think it's really cool that you can have essentially three different guns. It's cool that they went into that level of detail, especially in 1998, which is, it's pretty awesome. Or you just, uh, accidentally hit load instead of save and you got to do all that again we'll edit past this bit and we're back large medipack something very satisfying about those the medipacks in the actual game with the green plus sign on because the ones in the demo were red for some reason that just i don't know satisfying for some reason just gonna be real careful here no no duck duck oh my god Whew. i believe there's another large medipack here now we need to duck down. So this bit gives me some real nostalgia for the demo that this came on. Because this level was sort of in the demo. It was a bit different, but this bit was definitely in it. And this noise just reminds me of late 90s PS1 so much. Another guard up here. I thought I still had the demo that had like Crash Bandicoot 3 and Tomb Raider 3 on. But I had a look the other day and I didn't. Which is uh, a bit annoying really. I'm going to have to re-ebay that. That's annoying. Could have sworn I selected the Deagle. So this game wasn't really built with stealth in mind, so it can be a bit janky. Right, that guy's not turning this laser on. Freeing some more prisoners. There should be a medipack in here. So there's a gun turret up there. Nothing to pick up there. Just need to take this guy out before he activates another alarm. Well, not an alarm, a button to another armory. So harpoons, grenades, and a rocket. Which actually looks a lot like the rockets from Jurassic Park on SNES. Alright, so I'm going to pull this. I've got to draw my gun, run round to the right, kill the soldier before he reaches the handprint scanner. Alright, here we go. Come on, how did he get to that handprint scanner? At least I know where he is now. Right, so. Draw, go around. Right, there we go. Some grenades in here. Shotgun shells here. The animations are so nice in this. There's a switch we need to get to. the secret. So if you don't kill that guard earlier, you can't get to that secret. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop down here. Gotta love the Desert Eagle. Free another prisoner. Oh my god, I'm just in the middle of nowhere. It's like the uh, death animation from Crash Bandicoot. Wow, right. Some sensors up ahead to a gun turret. So I'll get the shotgun back. Nice. Man, there is a lot to this level. Cinematic camera. Uh oh. Okay. It's 
so we can set off this motion sensor because there's not a gun up here, which is good. Let's do it. Oh, I remember this. The missile area. Oh, boy. It's time to use the MP5. Code clearance disc. Yeah, this is where you have to go through this area, back, and then you end up back here again later. It's also where it starts getting a bit half lifey. I'm not sure whether intentional or not, but this was the same year half life was released, so it's entirely possible. Yeah, that, that alarm sound, the Crash Bandicoot 3 level with the giants in, and the music for the first level of Abe's Exodus in Necrom Mines. It's just all so very 1998 <laughs> PS1. It's stuck in my brain forever. It's great. Room with missiles, conveyor belt, and hook. That sounds fun. Oh. Yeah, I remember this room, so I don't want to set off this gun turret. Another small medipack. So just be careful to jump over these lasers. Oh, these lasers are really hard to see. Over here. See, without a guide, it's like, how would you even... It's just insane. How would you even guess half this stuff? Whoa! Oh my god, okay. That scared the hell out of me. Oh god, it's so hard to see those lasers. Ooh, that gun sounds so good. Get another secret. How far do you have to go just to get this secret? It's very excessive, isn't it? See, if this is what Area 51 is really like, then I don't even know, because it's just weird. Moving hooks. Although, why I'm trying to make sense of anything in the Tomb Raider universe anymore, I don't know. Grab this oddly placed ladder. God, that MP5 sounds amazing. Another access key. Just another weird thing that looks like a sweet or something. You know, like a little piece of candy or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. Oh my god! Okay, well that worked. All right, back up to the missile silo, along here, avoid the hole in the ground. Yeah, and there's that thumbnail right there. The level design in this is so complicated and twisting and you go back on yourself. And it's all really satisfying in the end when it comes together. But if you're just if you're playing without a guide, you just lose your mind. Hop down and head left. Press the button to summon the train. See again, it's just something you would never use in the real world because you'd have to almost die going through the train track to go to a weird room to the end to press a button to get the train to get to work. Which makes no sense. Hold on. Oh, don't even ask where the train comes from or where it goes. Oh, that was scary. These grates are safe. These are not. Okay. It's just a cruel joke, this game, isn't it? It really is. Because if you're playing on PS1 and you, oh my god, and you had limited saves, uh, like save crystals were the only thing that let you save in the PS1 version of Tomb Raider 3, and you run across that and you haven't saved in ages because you're trying to save, save crystals, and you run across that because you want to avoid the lasers, and then boom, you drop down onto the laser, onto the electrified rails and you're dead and you have to go back 10 minutes. I mean, my god. Alright, more shotgun shells on the track. We're heading close to the saucer room now, which is probably where I'll close off the video for now. This is just going to be a glimpse of the saucer room. I don't think we actually get to go in it yet. You have to go back, launch a rocket, come back again, do a whole bunch of other stuff. There we go. Whoa! Oh my god! Whew. How many more times is this game going to make me jump today? And you crawl under the third one. Let's see, the music's getting creepy now. Ooh, yeah. Scary stuff. Alright, we 
got to press some buttons, and there's a timed bit. It's all coming back to me now. Press this button. Okay, yeah, so you got to press both buttons and get through those doors before they close. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, for the love of God. All right, let's see if we can do this first time. Backflip. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Jump up. Go across, go across, go across. Come on, go, 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 go. Go across here. Press this. Oh, for the love of humanity. I don't think backflipping off there is the most effective method. To sprint. Go across, press this button. Press it, press it, press it. Oh, come on! The frustration of this game is immeasurable sometimes. Backflip off. Turn around. Start running. Oh, thank God. And we're going to end it here in the five switch room. Look at this. What a mystery. What a mystery. What do these switches do? What do they do? Find out next week or in two weeks when I next make a video on this. Thank you everyone for watching. There's another good bit of nostalgia in playing through Tomb Raider 3. I do love the Area 51 level as frustrating as it is. Do leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Tomb Raider 3. And make sure to stick around for the next video, which will be in a couple of weeks because I'll be away next week. And I will see you in the next video.